Hey YouTube, and thank you for watching Junkworks DIY Garage. In case you haven't already noticed or watched any of my other videos, I plan on doing kind of a six month update of different things that I've done with the lift and things like that, and things I've noticed on the lift and, and those kind of things, and they've turned into kind of their own videos, so to speak, things I've done and that. So, um, basically in this one, I'm just going to tell you a couple little quirks that I've had with it and mostly what I think of it after six months. Now, I've actually owned it longer than six months. It's probably been closer to nine or ten months since I've actually had it. But, um, it took me a, a little while, well, not that long, but a little while to put it together before I could start really using it. And even... A little longer than that before I could actually get to really use it. I probably have a good solid six months of using this not on a daily basis. I'm a homeowner on a homeowner basis but probably a weekly basis. I've had things on here and off of here depending on things I needed to do with my cars between oil changes and uh, brakes. You know those kind of things. I've, I've done a lot of stuff on this lift now to where I feel like I've had a good decent six months worth of actually using it as a homeowner. Yes, yet again, not professional. Um, and I can give you a pretty good idea so far what I think of it and I have had a couple little things happen um, that I thought I should talk about as long with the rest of it that I love. So that's what this video is going to be about. So right off the bat, I'm going to talk about one thing because I'm working on it right now and I have it up where I can kind of show you more and a couple things I had to do to do it. I actually had one of my bearings uh, on one of the pulleys go bad. Um, now I had my truck on the lift and when I was bringing it up, I noticed some noises that weren't there the normal noises that this makes. But I wasn't too concerned, but I did notice that my brakes, not brakes, my lock mechanisms weren't perfect, so to speak, weren't all hitting at the same time all of a sudden. So I knew there must be something going on. I wasn't sure quite what, but I knew there was something going on. Um, so I put it down on the locks. I actually finished doing what I was doing on my truck but when I went to bring my truck down, the noises got much louder, and there was kind of a pop, ping, poom, and it, it kind of, it came down safely, no problems at all, all the safety stuff worked. In fact, the problem I have, even if it completely broke and went away, I, this lift will be fine. You wouldn't, I mean, it, you'd have to repair it like I did, but you wouldn't, it wouldn't fall on you. Uh, it's got two safety mechanisms. First you have your normal locks that you should have it on whenever you're working under it. And if for some reason something happens like a cable was to break or something like that, it has a whole other set of locks that close or open, open, closed, I don't know. But they spring, I would say closed, and they lock this out as well. So you got two separate types of locks working on, in this system. So, yet again, safety is amazing on this machine and I'm just gonna put it out there I, I feel like I need to be open and honest so I did have the bearing problem but they took care of me right away I called him that day and it was a Friday so he sent the parts out on Monday and I had them here on Thursday um, and that's pretty quick considering if you know sh shipping now right now is just horrible so I was very satisfied. The customer service for this place is amazing. There, I have never in my entire life had customer service like Wildfire Lifts has given me. So I'm going to put that right out there. Now, as far as the bearing that went bad, I was able to get it out. Um, you need to decide for yourself if you're capable of doing that kind of thing. It did, does say in the warranty that you shouldn't do the work yourself. Um, but I talked to him. He said he was okay with me doing the work. So I am going to tell you, show you one thing that I had a little bit of trouble getting it back in. And just, you know, I had to think about it for a little while and I figured it out. So if you have this kind of problem, I just wanted to show you something you can do that makes this a lot easier than trying to wrestle that pulley back in there. Now hopefully the light's not washing it out too much. But I had to back that nut. I took the top nut off. Now it is on the locks, 
just so you know I made sure it was set down on the lock so this thing ain't going anywhere and I've backed I took this nut off the top nut off and back that nut all the way out to give this particular uh, cable enough slack just to slap that pulley in down there now depending on where your pulley is and what cable is against it depends on what one of these you'd have to loosen up but once I did that it went right in no problems so after that easy as pie I went in all was hunky-dory everything's great in the world um, now I'm gonna go around I'm gonna actually have to kind of put that where that is I'm going to mess with my lift and actually get everything all so that the brake, the, uh, not brakes, I keep calling them brakes, they're actually kind of locking mechanisms. So those go in at the same time and everything's where it was when I first started. Um, I have actually a video on that, on how to do that with this lift um, and all that kind of stuff. So go check out my channel, go look at my playlist and I have a wildfire playlist that has several videos on this this lift so the only other thing about this lift that I have noticed that uh, I would say is a little bit of a downfall is um, on the edges of this here uh, most of it's kind of taken care of but it there's definitely a lip here and it can get it's kind of bumpy and there is a little bit of spatter in different areas I've noticed on here from uh, Weld where they didn't clean up the little bit of spatter but yet again price they those are kind of things that aren't a big deal I've ran this thing up and down uh, quite a bit and that's pretty much knocked off anything that I've had a problem with um, but there are a few areas where there's some spatter and some unfinished grinding to be done. But all in all, that's about all I can think of as far as the what I would call a little bit of drawbacks to this lift. So speaking of this right here, my uh, lift here, I have a couple videos on this. Um, got some modifications I've done on it that will probably be in my uh, mods and hacks video later on down the road. I might have talked about it in some other videos. And I do know I talked about not being able to get this up from one end to the other uh, without it kind of jamming a little bit. And I've made a video on how I fixed that and I think there's even part of a video on getting it to the point where it works. But... Also, at the end of that video, I think I said something about um, doing some different adjustment up front. And I ended up doing that to get this to work. So, I I filmed this next segment try, uh, thinking I was going to do a separate video. But I'm going to try and cut it into this one instead. So, when I, as I roll this down, we do really good so right about here. And it doesn't want to go anymore. Now I can shove it, force it to go, but I really don't like that. Now I can show you a couple reasons why I think that is. First of all, I was able to move those out. So I've got those out. But I think the other side is actually still out further. So I need to move the other side in. And that will adjust these so that they will um, hopefully be able to go from one end to the other by actually moving these in and out. I was able to, that one pretty much stayed where it was, but this one was able to come in quite a ways. So now we are going to take this, you know, first of all, I took this all the way down to the end and adjusted it for that end. Then I rolled it all the way up this way and adjusted this back well in and tried to adjust this uh wait yeah in and that one stayed this one actually did come in quite a bit and i was able to get it all the way down here now that i've tightened everything up though that is the question will i be able to get it from this end to the other end so let's find out tight through here yet again I think 
little bit of grinding and finishing on some of this will take care of some of the tightness but it's still rolling pretty good and before these rollers would absolutely like pop up out so I got to be careful with that that was only when I got it all the way down to the end though would it do that all right I'm very happy with that a um, couple of tight spots that I should be able to take care of later on down the road if I decide to I'm sure after a while this will wear in in those tight spots and get rid of some of this stuff um, there is a little bit of slag right in this area from welding um, and that kind of stuff so a few little finishing touches and it'll be great um, I am I am so happy with this thing I mean I I cannot explain how happy I am about this um, and the price I paid that's that's the thing the quality for the price is well worth the money um, few little adjustments here and there a few little quirks you got to figure out here and there and and you're rolling with a lift in your garage and a homeowner is able to do it um, yeah it's the price of it was uh, honestly I've probably bought two rigs that were more expensive than this so it's it's the price of, of a car I would buy but that's the reason I have this because um, I buy cheap cars but regardless uh, de a cheap car and you could buy one of these instead so I, I, I'm outrageously happy with this thing and yet again not being paid they did not give this to me they helped me out with shipping that was it now you might notice um, I don't have the ramps on here quite honestly most of the time I have the ramps just hanging off of here whether it's up down or otherwise um, sometimes I do want them out of my way though if I'm putting it up and I, and I know I'm not going to use it for a while sometimes I'll take them off and throw them up here but I have noticed instead of having it down on the ground and this is where if you do something I do and you hurt yourself I'm not responsible if you don't like the way I'm doing it don't do it but with it yay high um, you choose your height but anyway I can kind of pull these off and on just kind of letting gravity do its thing like that now also for getting them off I kind of do the same thing kind of use my fat gut here get it up there slide it up here now obviously this isn't going to work if you have a car on there but if you're just going to put your lift away and put it up out of your way so that you can walk under it or just don't want them here tripping over them if you have it down and you're walking around it um, I feel for me personally that saves my back now a bit of a quirk I would say with the motor um, I've actually heard a couple other people talk about how it blows fuses and that is kind of true but on the other hand I have a switch over there on the wall that controls several plugs uh, one of which goes to this right here um, now when I first started using this I could have one light on and I'd have to shut all the rest of them that were attached to that that switch off um, or it would blow a fuse a um, couple of things now I can run it most of the time without blowing a fuse and have all the lights on right now so I do believe that the motor I don't know if it's brushed motor or what kind of motor exactly it is but I do think it needs a break-in period so run it up and down probably a few times get that motor broke in give it a little bit of time I would say and you will have that happen a lot less because I've got all my I pretty much have most all the lights on that I need on anyways um, and I don't blow fuses that often I still blow them every now and then and quite honestly it's mostly when it's cold if you live in a really cold area um, you know it, it, it might not work as well um, so when the garage is cold that's when I seem to have the most problem with it and usually it'll pop it once I can go reset it and it starts working fine uh, another thing is what I call the timid factor when I was first started using this I was just you know kind of 
almost nervous every time I went to hit the button and that goes away after a while and you kind of find yourself you'll just kind of barely let off and on and you're a little nervous that's all I can say when if you've never used one of these before um, there's just that nervous factor you got to get over and make sure you go around make sure everything's all right and then hit that button um, and that seems to help too when when I'm kind of off and on the button or not sure and I kind of you know barely push it then I then I'll have a problem sometimes with it popping a fuse so it's just getting used to the machine more than anything so you probably will have a problem with it blowing fuses every now and then if you just have it plugged into one of your wall things that you have other electrical stuff running off of um, probably would be good and at some point I want to run a, a line directly for just this but it's working fine for me as far as as far as blowing fuses and stuff then something else I did at the six month interval right in fact I did it today uh, is change the oil out in this and I'm actually glad I did it at the six month mark so go watch that video I have a separate video on that and that's in my playlist for the wildfire lift as well something else you might notice I have this on here just to remind me before I hit that button and start lifting things to make sure I put chocks behind the wheels of my car you also might notice somewhere in this video and other videos that I had that spelt very wrong so I went ahead and changed that so in the end, am I happy with this lift after six months? It is a massive yes. I cannot be more happy. Do I feel safe under this lift after I've had the one bearing go? I am sitting under a nearly 7,000 pound truck the way it sets right now because uh, I have some stuff in it um, and, and I did weigh it. So it's, it's a little can't remember if it's a little over a little under 7,000 pounds but either way lift goes to 9,000 and I'm sitting under that right now in the air after I've changed out that bearing and I'm very very feel very very comfortable this bar none in my opinion is at least as safe as any other lift out there four post wise and probably more safe than most of them um, I'm no engineer. I don't know a ton about lifts. I haven't owned any other lifts than this one, so take that with a grain of salt. But looking at this lift, it, I am super happy, feel super safe, and have no qualms with it at all. Um, sitting underneath my truck right now, like I said. So, could there be a couple fit and finish things that could be done better? Um, yeah, but. I think on any, I mean, as far as everything I've ever bought, in, I could say that. So, um, and those kind of things, it's that whole Monday or Friday car thing. When did you buy it? Um, you know, you never want to get one on Monday or Friday, but um, either way, I am super happy. I do think that the, the quality is very good. A couple little fit and finish issues, that's about it. Um, if I have any more problems with the bearing things, I'll let you know. Uh, I also, at this six month today, um, what I'm calling six months, anyway, I went around nut and bolted everything. Now, I did have one little collar on the front one over there, actually, um, that was a little bit, had loosened up a little bit, so I went ahead and tightened that down. All the rest of them were fine and all four of the nuts and bolts that were holding these rails on i snugged those a little bit they were pretty snug but i went ahead and snugged them a little bit more um so you want to do that every six months or so take a look check your bearings check your pulleys check your um, nuts and bolts and collars and washers and everything that holds something together check those um, and then on top of that I have some of this chain and cable cable lubricant that is specifically made for cables like this and I went ahead and hit every single one of these pulleys inside of those with a little bit of this chain and cable lube um, they say you don't have to worry about doing that, but 
it can't hurt I don't think anything so I went out, I went ahead and did that just to kind of help lube things up make sure things are, are running the way they need to and T9 Bow Shield one of my favorite products um, I went around and any of the like where the lock mechanisms the uh, all the hind joints and those kind of places anywhere where it moves in fact, I need to get a couple out there. But um, anywhere where something is moving, I went ahead and hit with the T9 bow shield because this stuff's pretty messy. So before my phone went off, I basically was just saying I, I lubed everything up. I've tightened everything up. I am happy with it where it is now. Um, is there more you could do or should do? I don't know I've done everything I'm comfortable doing everything looks good to me right now and I'm very very happy with this lid um, I did not get paid by wildfire I bought this with my own money I already talked about this in my video where I put it together so go watch that um, they did help me out with shipping so thank you very much he sent all these parts and pieces to me for free for the, he, he sent a bearing and um, then he went ahead on the one that, that actually went away. He actually uh, sent the whole pulley and bearings. I had trouble getting the race out of the one pulley. Um, so he sent a bearing for the lower one, a whole pulley and bearing for the upper one and um, the rod that goes through he sent sent me a new one of those just in case um and the bushing that goes in between them yeah uh, if you if you've ever messed with one of these you'll know what i'm talking about if you haven't you'll maybe find out someday hopefully not hopefully this will last outlast me now and uh if not i will say yet again customer service is amazing for wildfire uh You'll, you'll probably talk to the dad or the son. You, I mean, it's just kind of family-owned business. Yes, they are made in China um, and shipped here, but there you go, price. That's not why I bought this. In fact, these are about a thousand dollars more than what I paid now. Um, All together, I'm not sure exactly, but all together, for just the lift now is about the same amount as I paid for my lift and my jack, the uh, bridge jack that I bought um, is about the same price. And I don't know if there's any other ones that are cheaper now out there because that's a pretty big price jump. But regardless, I would still buy this one from them, um, even at the more at a higher price because I am. So that happy with it so yet again they are not paying me please don't write comments about yeah if I had this or that or if I was sponsored by this or that because I'm not I, I have no sponsors at all he sent me that wildfire lift poster when he sent me the parts and pieces and I, I thought that was pretty cool so I went ahead and put it up and I'll leave it there and makes kind of a cool little uh, door emblem there so anyhow I think this has gone on long enough. I am ecstatic with this lift. I love it. I feel very, very safe under it. And it was very easy for a DIY homeowner to put together. I wouldn't call it easy. Um, you're definitely gonna need some buddies to help you out or some people to help you out. But it was easy to understand how to put it together. We'll put it that way. Um, you can definitely do this yourself and, and feel safe because all the parts that all the mechanisms are already in this one. You don't have to put it all together. You just kind of stick the parts and pieces together, put a couple cables up, and you're done. All this stuff underneath the ramp and stuff is already set up for you. So I was very happy with that as well. All right, yet again, this is going too long. So thanks for watching Junkworks DIY Garage, where I'm proud to say I'm a jack of all, and I'm Master None. You all have a good one. Hold on. Hello. Okay, I'm finishing up a video and I'll be in. Okay, love you.